Alright, how you folks doing today? Several months back, I brought you a video of the all-new Belt Drive 4800X Whirlpool washer. Of course, it's also the same as Maytag's MVWC 200 and the 300 series. Um, also, same as some of the Kenmore models, uh, 2110 and I think a 2112 as well. Um, anyway, and this is what the new belt drives look like underneath. As you can see, they're a lot different from the direct drives, a lot different from the old school belt drives. And I'm going to explain to you a little bit in this video uh, how the parts work, um, what each part does, kind of, and just go through some different things on what makes these washers so different from previous Whirlpool belt drive and direct drive models. So, as you can see here, I took in the... I took the belt cover off. There is a belt cover that usually goes on the back of this thing. Two bolts hold it on. I've taken that off to help better explain uh, different parts of this washer. So right now, as you can see, uh, this washer is pretty much open on the bottom. There are four suspension springs that hold up the whole basket of the washer. Four on each corner. And you really can't see the ones right there, and then there's one right there, okay? There is no suspension bracket system like the direct drive with the funky springs and everything else. It just has four suspension rod springs. And then, just to get some of the parts of this washer, we have the motor right here. This motor is what they call a PSC motor, a permanent split capacitor motor. This is a capacitor right here for it. And basically, this motor is almost the same design that you would see a motor in a ceiling fan and things of that nature. What the benefits of this motor is, is that it can change direction at will. Um, and that's what this motor exactly does in the washing mode. And basically what happens is, and uh, well, before I explain that, let me uh, go ahead and explain some of the other parts. So we have the motor here. We have the main drive pulley here, which is a high intensity plastic. The motor pulley is metal. Um, right here we have the synchronization motor, also known as the mode, mode shifter. And that sort of, this controls the mode mechanism right here, and I'll explain what that does later. Again, we have the capacitor. And then we also have the water pump, which is bolted directly on the bottom of the basket. And then we have a counterweight balance to counterweight the balance of the motor itself. Um, and then we have wiring, and um, that's about it. So let me explain to you what each part does. The motor itself, when it's in washing mode, this synchronization motor begins to adjust itself and engages the agitator by simply moving this directional piece right here. Once that is engaged, then the motor spins one way and then comes back and spins the other way. And it does that for washing. And it does that constantly when it washes. And the motor is designed to do that. It doesn't hurt the motor at all to do that. It's, that's what it's designed to do. Spin one way, come back and spin another way. Okay, so when it goes into spin, the synchronization motor then disengages and now, and it may be hard to see, but as you can see now that it's disengaged when this motor uh, spins in one direction, that spins the whole basket. And that's it. There's no transmission or anything in this, mo in this washer. The only thing this washer has, and you really can't see because it's beyond this cover, is what they call a splutch basically a splined clutch. Um, if you don't know what a splutch is, please Google it. Uh, look it up on a search engine. Um, it's one of Whirlpool's own designs. They use it in their world washer that's made in Brazil in South America. But a, what a splutch is, basically in, in essence, is a spline clutch. And basically it's a, it's a, it, it's kind of hard to describe. Like I said, you have to look up on your internet. But basically it's encased and it has four gears. Um, and this shaft goes in the center of the splutch and the shaft of course inside the splutch has a gear and then it has four outside gears and those outside gears help sort of like a gear reduction for the drum 
Now the splutch really is is actually still used in the wash mechanism and how that works is when this spins one direction that comes around spins the other, the splutch actually spins the drum the opposite direction. So let's say this is spinning one way, the splutch is actually making sure the drum spins the other way for the agitator and, and for the drum. Like I said, it's kind of hard to explain, but like I said, Google it on the internet um, and you'll find out what a splutch is. Um, anyway, and then the pump right here, this is all the pump. It's not very big. Um, it's small, it's compact, um, and it's bolted directly onto the basket. The benefit of that is you don't have to worry about it leaking. Um, it's nice and sealed. It has a big rubber O-ring up in here. Um, and it also is able to pull out as much water as it possibly can to, to pump it out. So anyway, that's what that does there. Um, other than that, that's pretty much the inside breakdown of the 4800X new Whirlpool belt drive washers. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment below. Um, I'm sure to answer those as much as I can. Um, other than that, they're pretty basic. And everything this motor does and, and this, what this does is all controlled by the control board up on top of the machine. Um, this con this synchroniz synchronization motor also has an RPM gauge that senses how fast uh, the uh, drum is spinning. So that's in there as well. Other than that's about it. It's a pretty simple design, pretty basic design, and not a lot to go wrong with this outside of maybe replacing about a couple, you know, once every 10 years, I guess. Other than that, there's not really much to go wrong with it. It's a pretty solid design. I'm pretty impressed with them, and it's a lot simpler and a lot less complex, very less complex than the direct drives. Thank you.